Hello and welcome to my reaction to episode 26 of Skip Dance. Uh, last episode was great. If you see my reaction, I apologize once again for all the noise that you probably heard. My mom and my brother talking. Every time I record it, uh, I say that I'm recording, so please don't make that much noise. I actually very much dislike having to say that. Basically, the house we live in, the, the walls and the doors are very thin. You hear anything, you know. Um, even if someone is whisper whispering two rooms away, I might hear it because, yeah, the walls are very thin. So, yeah, I'm sure you heard a lot of voice in the background last episode. Obviously, I can't edit that out. Um, so, yeah, I just ask again if they could talk louder. I really hate having to do that. Uh, it really doesn't feel good. You know, I just wish I could, rec uh, I could record without having to ask uh, people to not talk to them. Obviously, they don't say it, but I'm sure they don't like it when I... I say, yeah, could you talk less loud, you know, and shit like that. And it's pretty awkward, but, I mean, if I don't say it, they're just gonna keep doing their thing, scream and talk loud and shit like that, and then it will not be good for the recording, so just saying. Uh, yeah, last episode, finally, the full, at least, I assume the full backstory of our switch. We, we is an imposter, I guess, because he's just emulating his brother, who died. You've seen the episode, I won't recap it, but quite the backstory. Um, I don't really expect it right now, but I'm definitely looking forward to hopefully Imeko and Bosun's backstory, especially Imeko. Bosun, it doesn't really feel like it's gonna have anything that interesting. I mean, we really don't know much. Uh, obviously, he likes 12 people, he has a club about it, but we really don't have any real idea if he was always doing that or if someone helped him and that's how he came into into that pass. Imiko we know she was a delinquent, violent, fighting, that kind of stuff. Uh, it was mentioned that, well it was understood at least that it's big thanks to Boston that she she changed maybe and he invited her to a club. I mean I'm really looking forward to this backstory to be honest. But anyway, I'm pretty sure now we're gonna still go back to some regular comedy episode first. So, episode 26 of Skip Dance. Let's get started in 3, 2, 1. Oh, the monkey again. It's been a while. It was in episode 2 or 3 that they chased the monkey, I think. You don't see that? Ask and you shall receive. Okay. Holy shit. I knew this was going to happen at some point. Holy shit. Okay. This should be good. You can already tell that the outside is different. <laughs> I was not expecting this. Now at least. Kind of.
<laughs> of course. Yeah. The character design is quite a bit changed uh, with this art style. Okay, I was waiting for the opening to talk a bit. I did mention at the beginning uh, of this that uh, I knew this was very much compared to Gintama. I knew the author of Skate Dance was uh, an assistant of Sorachi from Gintama. Gintama is one of my favorites, however. Probably top three. But I don't really to do top, so yeah. And uh, I have seen the uh, Gintama crossover episode with Skate Dance. But I don't really remember anything about it because obviously back when I watched it some years ago I didn't even know Skate Dance so I do remember there was a crossover episode but I never cared. Man, this is good. I'm really happy about this. If you've never seen Gintama, take it as like one of my absolute recommendation ever uh, yeah absolute recommendation it is so freaking good and while I understand the poor man your uh, Gintama this show can reputation can be it's good I mean it's definitely good it's not on Gintama's level but what show can be, I guess, is my question. Spirit dance. <laughs> this is so good. I'm so happy. Can't hear the difference. So it's already up on their side of the crossover. Okay. Are they, are they going to mention the same voice actor for Switch and Gintoki? I 
I didn't know that, but I'm not surprised. And a pretty similar character design. <laughs> I guess you should be saying that. Emeko is supposed to be strong, but uh, against Toyato. Don't trust him. <laughs> Kin Tama. I've seen that crossover too, though I haven't seen Toriko. <laughs> They're both the straight men. Yep. Kind of agree. Not my favorite kind of joke. I 
definitely wasn't the biggest fan of uh, Shinpachi Chi or Leon in Gintama when I first watched it. It was a bit too extreme with a straight man, always like screaming. Well, I do like him now because I'm such a fan of Ginta. Yep, that is the joke. That's pretty cool. Only have the episode for the crossover. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Gintama just ended like a year ago, I think. <laughs> Still waiting for them to adapt the end of the manga. I don't want to read it, I want to see it animated. Okay, I see. Redoing episode one with the Gintama character. Pretty cool looking. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a crossover, so it doesn't really matter. Oh.
Yeah, I was literally going to mention it soon. Without this glass is the ghost. The real Shinpachi is the glass. Say that. Time to go. It might seem like it, but yeah, I wouldn't say that. It's very similar in concept, but... Okay, oh, they're in the ending, in their place. I know what I'm going to do. I'm gonna stop my recording for today there, and I'm going to find the episode of uh, Gintama where skate, the skate didn't come over, and react to it uh, tomorrow. Because I've already seen it, but it was back in 2012, 2013, when I first watched Gintama. <laughs> what the fuck is up with your time? Get dance fit Gintana. Okay. Not touching yet. So as I said, I had seen it back in 2012, 2013 when I first watched Gintana. And uh Obviously, I don't remember anything from it. At the time, I did not know uh, Skate Dance. 
so I definitely didn't care about that crossover episode. And since then, Gintama became of my, one of my favorite show. I've watched it many times, but uh, this is one of the episodes that I always get. I, I've never watched it. So I guess technically you could say it's not a blind reaction, but uh, I'm going to do it. I've done it, so I can react to it first thing in the morning tomorrow. I think it might be a good idea. Uh, yeah, I think I'll do that. So yeah, that was cool. Um, very cool. Let me try to find what episode it is of, uh, of Gintama. What am I at? It? Internet, please. Oh, my fucking internet is so annoying. I don't know what's going on today. Okay. Gintama skipped dance crossover. Let's see. Episode 227 of Gintama. Alright, I'll get it off near. Like I said, I don't remember anything from it. Um, Gintama 227. Alright, so I'll wait to it tomorrow. I mean, some of you might care. I imagine a lot of seen Gintama I'd like to also. And yeah. I definitely don't understand the comparison to call Skedance the poor man's Gintama. I do understand it. I do think they're very similar. I mean, obviously, uh, both about a group of t three people, two guys, one girl. One is a straight man, of course. It's a comedy show. Um, helping people, taking r random requests and doing random shit. The set, the general setting is different. Obviously, Gintama is pretty crazy. The setting, uh, Skate Dance is way more grounded, I would say. But yeah, I mean, I don't really want to compare it too much because to me, Gintama has such a huge place place in my life. As I said, uh, it's I've watched it many times. It's one of my favorite thing ever. I cried, I laugh like never before watching Gintama. I was hyped like never before. Uh, obviously, since I watched it 2012-2013, I have been watching every new season as they come out, watching reactions since uh, people started doing an anime reaction back like five years ago. I have such a strong relationship to Gintama, so it's not fair to compare it to to compare skate dance and, and Gintama. It's not fair, so I don't. I feel like not doing it too much, you know. Uh, I really enjoy skate dance, and uh, yeah, so I would definitely. Don't call Skate Dance a poor man's Gintama. I don't think it's a rival. I don't think it's on the same level. But I would definitely call it a good show. That if you like Gintama, I would recommend Skate Dance to watch to get something similar and good. And on the other hand, if you like Skate Dance, I would recommend Gintama absolutely. Uh, but I would just, for any reason, recommend Gintama blindly. Anyway, enough from being from me. I react to that tomorrow. Hopefully, some of you will care about watching my reaction to that. Maybe some of you haven't. Uh, same that episode, who the fuck knows. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.